What is up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Demon Slayer. Super excited to start season three. I know I am a little late. I know I'm gonna on catch up mode right now, but I do want to let you guys know for those of you that aren't aware, with the first and last episode of every season of every show we do on the channel, the full length version, which is normally exclusive on Patreon, is available for free for everyone. So click that link in the top of the description. If you guys enjoy that format and want to consider keeping it for the future, consider checking out that Patreon full uncuts for everything from movies to shows to early access to all the shows it's a great time down there i have heard really good things and i'm very excited i don't know any spoilers technically this is a spoiler but it's not really so you know i just have this uh figure that i got a couple months back of the mist hashira which i know was one of the main characters or the main hashira of the story super excited super dope figure by the way other than that check out the social medias make sure you guys are subscribed let me know your thoughts in the comments down below click that bell like i said check out the patreon Let's hop right into this. The first episode is called Someone's Dream. No idea what that means. Oh, yes. We did leave off in the Infinity Castle. That's what it's called, right? Something like that with Akaza. And he was like, wait, if I'm here, that means an upper moon. Look how it like I know this isn't Muzan who controls this area. It's one of his right hand men, demons, whatever. But look at the size and scale of this place. See, is there a special area in the Infinity Castle alone where Muzan is? Like, let's say the Demon Slayer Corps was somehow able to infiltrate this area. How long would it take us? How many people would die before we could find his area, you know? That is the demon that controls this place. The Sword Smith Village Arc. Here we go. Upper four, Han Tengu. 113 years. Now is Doma, oh, I remember Doma. That was his name from last season, right? Is is this number two or number one? I forget which which rank he was. Yeah, he doesn't want your arm on his shoulder anymore, bud. So I was just about to say, I don't want to pause it because I'm not trying to ruin the flow of everything right now. I love so far how we barely had any demon slayers. It's all demons. And I love the interesting dynamic of the upper six. Like it would make sense there's gonna be some inner turmoil. They're not gonna really like each other. They're just gonna obey Muzan and it's very interesting we have Gyoko Hantengu Hantengo Doma Akaza but it can they beef like what happens if they start fighting is Muzan gonna shut them down I mean there's a distinct hierarchy like Doma technically should be stronger than Akaza right number one is listening right now where is he I want to see him I want to see him oh. Koku Shibo Koku Shibo Ooh, 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 ooh. Okushibo. God. Oh my god. That is very true. Remember he had a Kaza looking for some flower last season? The Ubuyashiki family. That's the flower, blue spider lily that he was having a Kaza look for. Okay, Gyoko's got some info for you. Like, how? What? He is such a strict, tough love kind of master, sensei, senpai, whatever you want to. I don't know. It's crazy. With Hantengu, okay. So, for number four and five, we're going to go confirm that info. I'm assuming that might be what this season is. Uh, who, who am I hoping? Akaza round two of taking Doma's fucking head off? Who was that? Was that number one? Or was that number four? Koko Shibu? Look at his face. It looks crazy. Kokushibo. Wait, he disappeared. I was hoping when she sent Domo, we could stay there in the Infinity Castle. I want to know her opinion on everything. I don't know. I'm so intrigued, man. The world building is so sick. Lord Founder, your disciples have arrived. He doesn't look like a demon. 
So does Doma in contact with humans? Does he... This is a cult he has? Is this the guy? This isn't the guy from Tanjiro's flashbacks. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, is that... No, is that Tanjiro's dad? Is that a young version of Tanjiro's dad? Is that why he looks so much like Tanjiro? Just with like... I thought we were seeing like a future... Right? Like... So that has to be Tanjiro's mom, Tanjiro's dad. I forget his name. I don't know why I'm so brain farty with names right now. I will promise I'll get better, guys. But this is like... This is like the guy, right? This is... But this child wouldn't have been born either. And that's their firstborn. That's gotta be a baby Tanjiro. With the beautiful cherry blossoms. A humble charcoal seller. Oh, wow. I would perceive the same thing. I can't lie to you. Look at his sword. That's probably why he became a demon slayer in the first place. I want to know it still, but he's definitely the, the guy from Tanjiro's, the, from Muzan's flashback, the sun wielder. So... I wonder if Tanjiro... Oh, I'm glad we're getting post-recovery. I'm so glad. I don't want to pause it again. I wonder if Tanjiro connected and was able to see that in his dreams due to his father's connection, due to connection to the son user himself, or technically because he was there as a baby, if he has some sort of repressed memories of that himself, you know? I'm very intrigued. What is it, shocking that he woke up already? Where am I? I'm assuming you're at Shinobu's place, you know? Two month coma? Because of the poison, Nezuko burning it out, the mouth injury, the head injury, every injury. Remember, our relationship grew with her a lot. Tanjiro was a huge influence on her. This is that same guy when the Hashiro were right there. I remember that episode. Oh my god. Oh, that is hilarious. Shouts out, Goto. Shouts out to you, my friend. Shouts out to them. Shouts out to you. Owie, yeah. So those are the three young girls who work for Shinobu. Abdominal breathing. And then the older, younger girl who works for Shinobu. I'm just trying to get everyone's name down. That's Owie. <laughs> yep. Which, they might have their issues with Inosuke and Zenitsu sometimes, but they all love Tanjiro. So... Shouts out Tanjiro. Yeah. They did go on, because Tengen was going to take the girls. And they would have most likely died. Tengen would have died too. Then he he woke up. Shouts out him. He's already doing missions? I mean, it has been two months. I hope that that man, because you know he was talking about retiring. I hope that man is on a beach right now with his wife. Living life. Yeah, because he had to move his heart to not get stabbed in the heart. No, there's no way in those case action. <laughs> I'm so butthurt the way they did that was so funny. The, oh, that's, that's a, that's an hallucination, right? That's one thing I've wondered about being in a comatose state. Does your body need energy? Is it drastically reduced energy? Can you still eat? Do they force feed you? That is Tamayo's cat. I remember. Why is he shivering? I'm glad. I thought he was going to die. Shouts out to the shout out to the to the cat. Real one. He's a real one. And now after another week, a few days, we're we're on our feet. A week later, back on his feet. This is kind of like where we spend all of our recovery time. So shouts out, what's it called? The Butterfly Mansion? The Butterfly Estate? Shout out to Shinobu. Shouts out to Tanjiro's flexibility. Holy shit. Yeah, I forgot about that. You're going to need to fight. Yeah, you're going to need to fight him. I, it's hard for me to pronounce his name, but he's tougher than any demon you're going to face. He's going to kill you. A little bit, but he's great at what he does. I can't blame him. Oh, the swordsmith village? Um, is that the arc of this? We go to the place where they make swords? 
Uh, how did I not put two and two together? I'm a dumbass. Swordsmith village arc. They're like woodsmith, you know. Except they're swordsmiths. All they do is smith swords. Forge them. Is that how hidden this place is? Whoa, so you can't tell directional? I walked 800 steps that way. And he has... Oh, they are serious about their grind. Hi, ladies. Thanks for helping. He doesn't know either? You know, after traveling a certain distance. Oh, shit. So they all know just their distance. So in case they ever get kidnapped or infiltrated for information. It's world building like this that I love and appreciate. Like, this is some shit I would see in One Piece. I love this style of shit. Well, I mean, if fucking, uh, Kokushibo can't even fucking find it, and Doma, I, under I believe it. I believe it. This place looks legit legit. I thought it would be much, much smaller. Even though this is, okay, this is actually about what I was thinking. I didn't expect the mountains directly behind the buildings, but no. This is about what I was thinking. I love this. What do you smell, the, the a hot spring? You guys don't know, I plan... I plan on going to Japan in 2025. That's like number three or four on my list of things I have to do is go to a hot spring. Just because of anime. Uh, seriously, thank you for taking us here. Much appreciated. Oh! The love Hashira! Not the only heart pounding. Dun dun. Dun dun. Look at that. Because it's like a special mountain where it like faces the sun. It's like the sun is imbued in the metal or some shit, if I remember correctly. I have a huge respect for forgers and weaponsmiths. Like, y'all ever watch Forged in Fire? I know you have. No point in me asking. You know how sick that shit is. That's gotta be what's her name? Love Hashira? Yeah, oh my god, Tanjiro, the one time where we need to not be respectful. I love this kid. Oh. Good reflexes, mother trucker. Is that a... I'm looking right up after that happens. That's what's his name? I have his name written down. Genya. From, uh, the, yeah, the final selection. We broke his arm because he was fucking with what's her name. Oh, it's Bakugo. No, hold on. Am I trolling or am I being serious? That's quite the shot. Let me hear his voice actor again. Oh, no. Okay. Only reason I was freaking out for a second, Bakugo, because as a meme, any character that's like that, who's super loud, rambunctious, you know, I always write down Bakugo in my notes to help me keep track. Oh, that's that character. This, that, and the third. But... So I have Genya Bakugo written down in my notes, and then I'm like, wait, is that actually the Bakugo voice actor? But no, it's Nishinoya, who's also the same sort of vibe, you know. And here I thought we could bond in our nakedness. Wait, is Nishinoya Bakugo, or am I crazy? Oh my god, she can eat! Wait, is that the Wind Hashira? I need to get everyone's last name. I didn't realize he was related to somebody. I love how her and Nezuko are holding hands. That's so cute. Kanroji. She's looking for a man. That is fair. I understand that. But you are one of the strongest people in this world. Okay. That's uh, quite the resolve to find a man. That is a very morbid, but I like that mentality, you know. Like this, this could very well be the last time I ever see you, but no matter what, we're always doing the good, fighting the good fight. Talk about a time skip of training. No other Hashira can say they've done what you've done, except... Maybe one's back in the past or Tengen. Shout out to Mitsuri. The, Kam the Kamado siblings love her. We love the love Hashira.
Ooh, don't be whispering in my ear now. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would be like Tanjiro. Oh. The mist Hashira, what is he doing here? The mist Hashira, Tokito, Muichiro. Wait a second, that's not the guy with Tanjiro's dad, is it? It is. Look at the earrings, Hanafuda like earrings. Seen him. Let me talk to him, please. Let's go. Let me go see his face. And why does like visually from the back, he gives you same vibes as like uh, Kokushibo. Like number one, he gives you the same vibe. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Gotta be something there. All right, on to the second episode. This is called Yorichi Type Zero. I'm not giving you the key. I recognize this voice actor. I really do. The little kid. Oh, now you gotta step in. Oh, wait. Is that like a robot? Why did he, he look like that? He looked like Conqueror's puppet from Naruto. Not even budging. That people die. To a certain extent, I get what he's saying. Right. I mean, technically, that is saving life. He is quite the asshole, I can't lie. High five. Right? I'm the same way. Act? Yeah, what you're saying is true, but there's a way and place to go about it, you know? A hundred percent. Ooh. That's his boy, right? Hotaru? Come on, they, it's a symbiotic relationship. Both need both. You are fighting the good fight at the end of the day. I thought he was just about to be like impressed with the speech. But he's like, no, I don't got time to listen to what you're saying. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I, that was your conscious speaking, actually. Um, <laughs> it was a mechanical doll. So it's like a conqueror puppet. So I'm so curious. Is that the remains of the guy's body? Is that just like made in the image of him? Yup, makes sense. Training, though. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Smooth with it. Built by my ancestors. Ooh, it's got six. Yorichi Type Zero has six arms. That's so crazy. Mmm, so that's what I'm curious about. See, I need all the answers. What? That's how good he was? He was able to move with such smooth and elegance that a doll would not be able to replicate that unless he gave him six. Like, what? That blows my butt cheeks back. The Sengoku period. Makes sense why Muzan used to be scared of him. Wait, but no, then... Now I'm just thinking back to the dream. Was that made up? That couldn't have been real. That was baby Tanjiro. Yeah. Unless he did live for a long time and then died relatively recently. Maybe he's still out there? I don't know. So that's why he said one more use and it's breaking down. Yeah, he's alone. Wow, I feel bad for this kid. He was so adamant about making sure it stays in the condition that it's in. 
Well, what did you expect? He's a descendant of the wielder of sun breathing. Who... Tanjiro just used sun breathing, Miss Crow, excuse me? So he doesn't have sun breathing, but he's a descendant of the sun breathing user. This bird is fucking annoying. It's roasting Tanjiro. No, you're a good kid. That's what I was curious about. I literally talked about that. Yes, I like that. He got that memory from the Hinokami Kagura from his dad? It could have been something from, you know. That might have not even been baby Tanjiro. That could have been baby grandpa, grandpa Tanjiro. That could have been charcoal sellers for hundreds of years. I'm crazy. It could be. I honestly have no idea. Kotetsu. What up? What up, dog? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Oh, shit. You broke it. Ichiro, come on. Looking at it, but he's not wrong. Maybe you're not the best swordsmith or doll smith, but you can. Your son might be the best the world's ever seen. I know you're gonna finish the job, so don't say that, but I do like his mentality. Ooh. It's more than just you. It's the influence around you, the the connected beings that you touch and they touch, and so on and so forth. It's an interweb of of love and compassion. Come on, this is what I this is why I love. Uh, I love Tanjiro, man. Great guy, inspirational guy. He's like training should last till nightfall. He's already done. That's toxic. You br That's super toxic. Oh, it's in tatters. It's in. I mean, it's definitely more broken than it was before, and its arm is ripped off. But oh no, we're still going. But now it's going to attack you, right? Now this is going to be live training for Tanjiro. Okay. I was not expecting Kotetsu to be a fucking villain arc. Yeah, he does. Oh, okay, gotta get the training clubs, because that thing will shit on Tanjiro right now. So think about it though, if you can dodge five functional arms, you'd be able to, you're gonna be so fast, Tanjiro. This is actually great training. Ooh, hey, that's a threat right there. Talk about tough love. Epic fail. Oh, he'd be dead like four times over. Yeah, you look emaciated. Unclouded case. Pure tyranny, born out of ignorance. That is pure fact. He has no idea how bad he was. That's so funny. What, he just fucking fell unconscious mid-fight? He died. Imagine that's how it happened. Oh, it's so pretty. Imagine you're about to die, but you're so hungry you can't even cross the afterlife bridge. He can tell where the attacks are going. He can read it. So now how do we move knowing that it's coming like that? Okay. Ooh. Yeah, better than we were before. That's funny, but hey, I'll take it. Nice. Yeah, you don't want to break it. I un I understand that fear. Even he's telling you to. 
Wow. Shout out Kotetsu. He's a real one. For the training. Yeah. The haircut. With the mute. Ooh, the fuck you shot! The 360 fucking head cut offer. Oh, we hit the sword. I thought we hit his head. Damn. Oh, we did. Wait, is that his sword? I think that's Homeboy's sword. Because they showed his gold handle like when we saw the flashback. I like how the sword that we're looking at is the sword that was used as the spinal foundation. That's badass. All right. Talk about an opening couple episodes. I am very excited. I'm loving the connections to the past to right now, whether it's Tanjiro and his father and uh, uh, Hinokami Kagura or the sword. Uh, swordsman from 300 years ago i'm loving how that's tying into not only right now but the swordsmith village and i'm i for some reason i heard the name of this arc a thousand times swordsmith village arc, swordsmith village arc, but i never put two and two together that we're going to the village full of swordsmiths that's so sick i'm loving the relationship they have with the creators uh with the creators of the swords with the users of the swords Uichiro and his disdain and his assholeness and then tanjiro saying how how much swordsmiths are needed and i loved uh hotaru i forget his last name the guy who makes our sword i love how he heard tanjiro say that so that's also very big i'm very curious what's gonna happen are we gonna use the guy's sword from 300 years ago i'm loving this he's gotta be dead or is he still alive i need to know all the answers i'm loving this i'm about to sneeze and then i'm gonna end this episode real quick <coughs> Uh, excuse me thank you guys for watching i appreciate you guys immensely remember if you guys enjoyed this want to continue watching it maybe check out the full length in the future all that check out that patreon all that's in the description down below don't forget to check out the social medias instagram twitch tiktok twitter all the dapper darius don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace out